Hello and welcome back to a brief summary of where today I'll be presenting to you what is a double cousin and how you may be related to one. You may have come across this video because you could be curious, what is a double cousin? You might be wondering, is my cousin a double cousin? Or furthermore to this, you may be wondering, am I a double cousin? Well, we're going to explain all of that in today's video. But before we get into today's video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could all click the like button, which would help out my channel in the YouTube algorithm massively, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Now that we've all done that, let's move on to the question, what is their DNA share? Well, I'll simplify it down for you. Between you and a first cousin, you'd share on average 12.5% DNA. But between you and a double cousin, you share 25% on average DNA. But how does that make sense? I'll show you with a chart. This chart has been simplified down for everyone to understand. We'll start the chart off with you. And we'll follow the chart up to your mum. And then furthermore to this, your maternal grandparents. Then your maternal grandparents have another child who is your aunt and your aunt is the mother of your cousin that's not a double cousin though is it no so let's make the double connection we'll follow up from you to your dad and we'll follow from your father up to his parents your paternal grandparents can you already see where this is going we will then go down from your paternal grandparents to your uncle, who is, of course, the father of your cousin, making your cousin a double cousin. Now, this chart has been completely simplified. So I've made the mum and the aunt sisters, the dad and the uncle brothers, and everyone is full siblings to each other. Now, in reality, your parents and your uncle slash aunt could be half siblings. So there's lots of factors to go into this. But also you've got to remember double cousins then stretches down the generations. So, for instance, when your double cousin has a child and when you have a child, they're going to be double second cousins. I myself have double second cousins, so I'm very familiar with this. So let's just cover a couple of facts about double cousins. Double cousins share the same amount of DNA as half siblings. 12.5% times 2 equals 25%. Now, of course, these numbers are on average as DNA never splits evenly, but that is always something really cool to consider. However, without a paternity test, it may be hard to distinguish the difference between double cousins and three quarter siblings. As mentioned in a previous video, three quarter siblings are, for example, when two brothers have children with the same woman. So the children are three quarter siblings. Now, in the sake of three quarter siblings and double cousins, you share all grandparents. So without a paternity test, it may be hard to distinguish whether you are three quarter siblings or double cousins. Full double cousins share all of their grandparents. Now, no family is equal. You have siblings who are half siblings, you have siblings who are full siblings, you have three quarter siblings. So this is just based on the point that if your parent and their sibling are full siblings on both sides for the double cousins to occur, then yes, you would all of course be full double cousins. However, a question you may be wondering is, am I a double cousin? Well. Double cousins stretch a lot further than just this chart. For instance, if your grandparents were first cousins, your father or your mother would actually be their own second cousin. Does that class as a double cousin? You would be your own third cousin. Are you a double cousin? Kind of, I guess. In my family, I have double cousins, which are a couple generations up. So my grandfather has double second cousins, um, and on Ancestry, I share quite a lot of DNA with them, which is really interesting to know because, of course, they're double related to me. 
Now, for those who have taken a DNA test on websites such as Ancestry, MyHeritage, 23andMe, or any other websites like that, I have written in the description about centre organs because I know centre organs are listed on the websites, and you may be wanting to understand a little more about, for instance, why am I related to someone with 2,000 centre organs? Uh, of course, this will be in relation to cousins and double cousins, so please go and have a read, let me know what you think. Uh, smash the like button on this channel, uh, click the subscribe button if you're new, and I shall see you guys all in the next video. Thank you and goodbye. The end. Like this video!